My beloved brothers and sisters, nobody likes to talk about the punishment of Allah and how severe it is and the fact that he has warned people about it. In fact, a lot of people like to ignore the topic of the punishment of Allah. The reality is as a believer, we know there is a balance between the punishment of Allah and the gift of Allah, the mercy of Allah and the anger of Allah. We know there is a balance and we also know that the side of the mercy, the side of the forgiveness, the side of the kindness, the side of the goodness tips the other side, which means Allah's mercy encompasses much more. Allah's mercy encompasses absolutely everything, but that does not mean that he will not punish. Allah's kindness far outweighs the opposite, but it does not mean that he will not take those who deserve to be taken to task to task. So if we take a look at what's going on across the globe today, we will realize that people have started asking questions without thinking at times or pondering deeply. When we say Allah is merciful, they start saying, well, if he was merciful, why does he need to punish people? Question. What does Allah gain by punishing someone? What does Allah gain by dooming someone? He is so merciful, so kind, so forgiving, so amazing. That is Allah. We know it. I'm sure we've heard this verse many times where Allah says, my mercy encompasses everything. Well, a question some of the youngsters have been asking me of late is, well, if Allah is so merciful, so kind, why did he need to create Jahannam? Why did he need to create hellfire? Why does he have to have people there? So let's go back to the drawing board. Let's look at the creation. Allah Almighty created. You did not have a say. I did not have a say. That is Allah. It's his choice. When he created, he decided that there will be justice. There will be a balance. If someone has stolen your property, wouldn't you like to see your property back with you, number one? Number two is, would you not like to see that that person does not repeat the same? So if they have not learned their lesson, would it not bring joy to you to see them being penalized in a way that rectifies the problem long term? If you are such a lovely person, why would you like to see the one who has wronged you be punished? Subhanallah. Have you thought of that? We take a look at the countries across the globe. Many of them proclaim we are free. We are absolutely free. We are advanced. We are the most advanced. All of them have prisons. And by the way, the more advanced the country, the more full the prison is. Go and check it out. It's amazing. So if you are asking me if Allah is so good, why does he have to have a hellfire or a punishment? Well, I could, I could tell you that if these countries are so lovely, why do they have to have prisons? And why do they need to penalize a person just for driving 10 kilometers above the speed limit? Subhanallah, you penalized. You could face a trial, a case. You could go to court perhaps. One wonders what may or may not happen depending on which country you're living in. Here we're a little bit more fortunate. May Allah grant us ease. 